Hey guys, what's up from Machine Sam back with another video and today we have something I want to discuss real quick. Um, this is more of a calling out video of EA and their bullshit so far this season. Um, so right now I'm putting together a video of just like dumb shit that's happening in EA that they said they fixed that isn't getting fixed. It didn't get fixed. Another thing that's happening is they are being lazy again. Um... So number one, first and foremost, if you haven't heard, the roster editor, well, the uh, draft class edit or the draft, the draft classes, you know how linemen would get fucked up and all the players would look like they're like tight ends. They're supposed to be fixing that. They haven't, I don't think, set a release date yet, but your franchises are fucked. Um, they are not patching, going into franchise and patching it. They And if you've made a draft class, they are also not patching that through. You were just fucked. You were out of your progress. So you're going to be losing your franchise. You're going to be losing your... Now, you can still play those. It's just those player, those existing players will be fucked. At least that's what I've read and understood from other content creators as well. Is that they're not patching it. As in like, oh, hey, your franchises are going to be fine. This is the third straight fucking year that you have to restart franchise. And it is bullshit at this point. Another thing is... This is a problem for three years as well. If you click use real life roster, they do not fucking update the game. They do not allow you, like in back in Madden 20 and 21, where you could fucking go in and be like, oh, hey, I want to start from week three and try to turn my team season around because we went fucking, we lost seven games. Like, let's say if a team like last year, like the Bears, after they had won their last game, I think against the Patriots, if you said, hey, we want, I want to go in and try to build off that, you know, see if I can turn the season around just enough so that we're not that bad of a team, you can't do that because they're just not updating their fucking game. They're not giving us the tools to play this game correctly, and it is getting frustrating for a lot of people. And in a make-or-break year, this is bullshit. If the NFL and if Roger Goodell were to ever step in at any point in time and tell EA to get their shit together, now would be the fucking time. Now would be the time where if you were going to do that, step in and do it. Uh, I don't think this has been fixed yet. But uh, share and manage files, you can still not rate people's stuff. Just just being real. Um, Yeah, let's see here. Let's see, can I rate my own roster? No, because it still says dislike and the rating will not pop up. Which means if people are getting downloads, those rosters, those sliders, those playbooks are all getting more downloads because oh wow more downloads means people like them and it's not popping up the actual rosters that are doing well or people that are actually putting time and effort into their files so people that are making shitty rosters or uploading other people's rosters or uploading other people's sliders or playbooks or draft classes or anything it is the wild wild west right now and ea does not give a fuck the fact that we still can't edit certain stuff on players Two is an absolute joke. You know, can't edit dev traits, can't edit contracts, can't edit a whole ton of stuff. It is getting ridiculously out of hand right now. I don't know what else to really say about EA. They are not doing a good job. The game is fucking broken. Madden franchise, you have to restart for the third straight year in a fucking row. You know, wow, we're not actually getting disconnected from our franchises like previous years. But guess what? Got to restart. It, it's really bullshit at this point. Um, because I'm about halfway through Titans franchise. I know uh, season one. I know the three content creators that I watch on Madden regularly. Uh, Bangle, Dimu, and C4. I'm pretty sure all of them are through season one of their franchises and are either in the off season or close to it. I don't know. I I normally sit there and wait for like three or four episodes to come out so I can binge watch it, I'll have like four hours worth of content that I can sit around and watch, you know, when I have my couple hours a day, or whatever, but it, it's really to the point of, I don't understand what EA is doing at this point, and it's hard for me not to attack developers, not like, attack them about their personal life, but you're, you're doing a real shit job, EA, like not even... Not even, like, putting an effort in your game anymore. It, it, it's insane. It, it really is. 
I think another thing that I've struggled with is I don't think you can go back and look at certain storylines, like news clipping articles that they do, like the news feed section. If you can, I haven't found out a way. I don't know. Is there a button that I'm missing? I don't know. But this game is a broken mess right now, and it does not deserve... Us us fans of the game do not deserve this at this point. EA is being lazy. EA is being a bunch of bitches. Uh, they can all suck a fucking fat one for all I care. I knew I was going to be disappointed in this game. But it's it, it's sad to see with only a month into the game that so much has gone wrong. This is, I think, the fastest I've ever turned on a game. You know, in terms of like, wow, you guys have done a fucking terrible last job. And with 2K being fucking basically pay to win now at this point, it, it's hard. It's really hard for the sports gaming industry to drop any further than this. But they'll find a way. They'll find some glitch that they don't want to patch. But, you know, I guarantee you... If there was a mutt glitch where, you know, you could get extra points for free or you could get extra packs for free, I guarantee you they would patch it almost immediately. But that being said, guys, if you guys enjoy this content or any other content here on my channel, so stick around and subscribe. I'll be back with more videos like this. Uh, hit that notification bell if you guys want to be notified anytime I upload a video. But with that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace.